Hi, today is Tuesday, February 20th. I'm not in the classroom today, as you can see, but we are still having a lesson um, via our YouTube channel today. Um, I've created a doseri video for us, and we are going to be working on lesson 5-7, and this is over completing the square. So we're going to be learning about how to um, solve an equation, a, a quadratic equation, by completing the square. Um, now, the first thing we're going to work on is how to um, find the square root um, to where we can find what x is, okay? So, we start off with 4x squared plus 10x plus 40, okay? I'll give you a second to write that down. And if you need to, just pause this video, okay? All right, we're going to start by subtracting 10 from both sides. Okay, that leaves us with 4x squared equals 36. Okay. Next step, what do you think we're going to do here? Yep, we're going to divide by 4. So divide by 4 on both sides. Okay, and then that leaves us with x squared is equal to 9. Okay, now I've got x squared equals 9. To find x, I'm going to take the square root, right? Okay, so we're going to take the square roots of x squared and of 9. The square root of x squared is x. That equals the square root of 9 is 3. But is it just 3? Okay, remember, squares, perfect squares are always positive. So their factors can either be positive or negative. So our answer is x is equal to the square root, or not x is the square root, x is equal to plus or minus 3. Okay. All right, let's look at another equation. Let's try this one. 3x squared minus 5 equals 25. Okay, first step, let's get rid of that minus 5. So we're going to add 5 to both sides. Okay, that leaves me with x or 3x squared, excuse me, is equal to 30. Okay. Okay, remember, pause if you need to. Okay. Now, 3x squared equals 30. I'm going to divide by 3. So divide by 3 on both sides. Okay. That leaves me with x squared squared is equal to 10. Okay, again, I've got x squared, so I need to get rid of the square. I'm going to get rid of that square by taking the square root of both sides. Okay, square root of x squared is x. That equals the square root of 10. Okay, yes, if it is um, not an even number if it's not a whole number and you want to leave it as just the square root leave it as the square root in fact let's just go ahead and leave it as the square root right now if I want you to do decimals we'll we'll say to do decimals but for right now we'll just leave it as the under the radical sign okay now just like with the whole number with 3 next to it um, square root of 10 can either be positive or negative. Okay? Alrighty. Alright, I want you to try this one on your own. Um, x square, or 7x squared minus 10 equals 25. Okay, your answer choices are A, x equals plus or minus the square root of 35. B, x equals plus or minus the square root of 15 over 7. C, 
x equals plus or minus the square root of 5, or d, x equals plus or minus 5. I want you to pause the video right now, and then uh, once you've got an answer, then check your work. Okay, um, hopefully you pause the video and now you're coming back to check your work. Your answer is C. Okay, let's look at that. 7x squared minus 10 equals 25. We add 10 to both sides. That leaves us with 7x squared is equal to 35. We divide by 7. x squared is equal to 5. Take the square root of it. And x is equal to plus or minus the square root of 5. Okay? Hopefully that's what you got. Alright, problem 3. Solving a perfect square trinomial equation. Um, I have skipped over problem two. Um, that's a word problem, and that's what I'm going to do with the advanced classes. We will do that on Wednesday. Okay, we'll look at that on Wednesday. For now, we're going to go ahead and go on through um, the perfect square trinomial equations. Alrighty, now first thing I want you to remember is what a perfect square trinomial looks like. Remember, it looks like a squared plus 2 times a times b plus b squared, okay? And that breaks down into a plus b squared, okay? Now, so let's look at this. We've got 2x squared plus 4x plus 4. That breaks down into x plus 2 squared, okay? Take that x squared, take the square root of it, and we get x. Take that 4, take the square root of that, we get 2. We look at our first sign, it is a plus, and that becomes the plus in our um, binomial Okay, and that equals 25. Now, we're going to take the square root of 2x squared, and that's going to cancel out. Now, I'm going to take the square root of 25 also. That's going to cancel out our radical and our exponent. And that leaves us with x plus 2 is equal to plus or minus 5. Okay, now I've got an equation that equals plus 5, and I've got the same equation that equals minus 5, or negative 5. So we're going to write that out, x plus 2 equals positive 5, and x plus 2 equals negative 5. Okay, now we're going to subtract 2 all the way across, so I'm going to subtract 2 here, and here, and then the other equation here, and here, okay, and I end up with x is equal to 5 minus 2 is 3, and then over here we have x is equal to negative 5 minus 2 is negative 7, okay, so those are your two answers, okay. Okay, try this one yourself. x squared minus 14x plus 49 is equal to 25. Go ahead and pause this video and work out the problem. Okay, and then come back in a minute and we'll have the answer for you. All right, the answer is x is equal to 12 or 2. Let's see what we got. We have x squared, and the square root of x is 
x squared is x. And then we have <coughs> the first sign is minus, so that's going to be our sign. And then the square root of 49 is 7. Okay, squared equals 25. Okay, now remember, take the square root of both sides and we end up with x minus 7 is equal to 5 plus or minus uh, that was a bad minus sign there sorry okay so we have x minus 7 equals positive 5 x minus 7 equals negative 5 we're going to add 7 all the way across okay we end up with x is equal to 12 or x is equal to 2 not too bad all right problem four this is completing the square we're going to learn how when we have an ax squared plus bx or minus bx and we need to find the c we're going to find the c to be able to complete the square to get a plus b squared okay so let's take a look now in order to find c c is equal to b divided by 2 squared okay so you can put a c in front of that if you want to i'll do that later all right let's work on this x squared minus 10x okay and then i'm going to take this b my, uh, divided by 2 squared so i've got b is negative 10 i'm going to divide that by 2 and i'm going to square that okay b divided by uh, 2 or negative 10 divided by 2 is negative 5 when i take that negative 5 and square it that gives me 25. okay so to complete the square i'm going to write it out as x squared minus 10x is equal or minus no not minus plus is 25. So x squared minus 10x equals 25 completes our square. Now, when I figure out what that square is, the square root of x squared is x. My first sign is minus. The square root of 25 is 5. So my perfect square, square ends up being x minus 5 squared. Okay? Let's try I got it. Okay, try this one. x squared plus 6x. And we're going to complete the square in answer choices. Our a equals negative 9, b equals 9, c equals 6, or d equals 3. Okay, pause this for a moment. And then come back and we'll have the answer. All right. My answer is B. So let's take a look at that. Remember, C is equal to B divided by 2 squared, right? Okay. So B is 6 divided by 2. Oops. Excuse me, let's take that off. Okay, so that means C is equal to 3 squared, or C is 9, right? So, let's just go ahead and work out that. That gives us our answer, right? And if we wrote that out in an equation, we would have X squared plus 6X plus 9, and that would break down into the binomial X plus 3 squared. Okay? Ready. Let's look at the next problem. Alright, we're going to complete the square. So I'm going to go a little slower on this one. 
and make sure that we understand everything. Okay, now I have the problem 3x squared minus 12x plus 6 equals 0. Now, in order to do a completing the square, I want to move my 6 over to my other side so that I just have ax squared plus bx. Okay. So first, let's move our 6 over. Okay, so we're going to subtract 6 on both sides. So we have 3x squared minus 12x equals negative 6. Now, I am looking at these, and I see something between the 3, the negative 12, and the negative 6. I notice that they're all divisible um, by 3. So I'm going to take out a greatest common factor of 3. And that is going to leave me with x squared minus 4x is equal to negative 2. Okay? Now... Let's complete the square. Okay, in order to figure out what I need to do to complete the square, I'm going to come over here and I'm going to do my b over 2 squared. b is negative 4. So I take negative 4, divide by 2, and I'm going to square that, which gives me negative 2 squared or positive 4. Okay, so I'm going to add 4 to both sides. So I have x squared minus 4x plus 4 is equal to positive 2. Okay, and then let's break our trinomial down into binomials. So I'm going to have x minus 2 squared is equal to plus Nope, let's not do that yet. It's just equal to 2. And then I'm going to take my square root of both sides. I end up with x minus 2 is equal to plus or minus the square root of 2. Okay? And then... I'm going to move this 2 over. Actually, I'm going to break this out into 2 first. x minus 2 equals the positive square root of 2. And x minus 2 equals the negative square root of 2. <coughs> Add 2 all the way across. So I end up with x is equal to 2 plus the square root of 2, and x is equal to 2 minus the square root of 2. And there's my answers. Oops. Alrighty. Let's look at the got it for this problem. We have 2x squared minus x plus 3 equals x plus 9. Your answer choices are a is 1 fourth plus or minus th the square root of 13 divided by 2. b is 1 fourth plus or minus 5 times the square root of 8 divided by 2. c is 1 half plus or minus the square root of 13 divided by 2, or D, 1 half plus or minus 5 square root 8 divided by 2. Okay, go ahead and pause this one here. This one's going to take a little bit of working out to do, so pause this, work it out, and come back. Okay, I hope you have paused your video and you're ready to go. Okay, 
let's do some working out here. Now, your answer came out to be x is equal to 1 half plus or minus the square root of 13 over 2. Okay, how did we get that? Okay, let's take a look. We had 2x squared minus x plus 3 equals x plus 9. We're going to start by moving our 9, not our 9, our 3 over here and moving our x over here. So we end up with x squared minus 2x equals 6. Oh, uh, positive 6. Okay, sorry, I had a negative there. Let's fix that. There we go. Okay. Now, we need to divide all this by 2. So divide by 2, divide by 2, divide by 2, whoops, okay, so we end up with x squared minus x equals 3, okay, now I need to figure out what my c is going to be, so I come down here and I have x, or uh, negative 1x divided by 2 squared gives me 1 fourth. Okay, so that's negative b, or b, so that's negative 1 divided by 2. Negative 1 half squared is positive 1 fourth. So, we're going to add 1 fourth to both sides, plus 1 fourth, plus 1 fourth, so I have x squared minus x plus 1 fourth equals 3 and 1 fourth, or we could say that is 13 fourths, okay? And that's what we're going to use, is 13 fourths, okay? Now, let's break that down. So we end up with x minus 1 half squared is equal to 13 over 4 and we're going to take the square root of both sides okay that gives me x minus 1 half is equal to plus or minus now the square root of 13 is just the square root of 13 the square root of 4 is 2 okay oops I need to go back and erase something here. I put one fourth. I need to make that one half. Okay. So now our final answer is we add one half to both sides and we end up with x is equal to one half plus or minus the square root of 13 divided by 2. That's our answer C. Okay? In this problem, you will write an equation in vertex form. What is the equation y equals x squared plus 4 times x minus 6 in vertex form? Name the vertex, axis of symmetry, direction of...
All right, problem six. This is writing an equation into vertex form. Okay, we've got a standard equation. Y equals X squared plus 4X minus 6. Now, that is not a perfect square trinomial, so we can't um, solve that down um, real easily. So what we're going to do is we are going to... Um, find the uh, perfect square trinomial and solve for y, okay? All right, first thing we're going to do is we're going to move the y over to, I mean, not the y, but the negative 6. We're going to move that over to the um, y side. So we're going to add 6 to both sides, okay? And that leaves us with y plus 6 is equal to x squared plus 4x, okay? All right, now, we're going to use this time to um, uh, complete our, our, our square, okay? So we need to do b divided by 2 squared, which is 4, happened there. 4 divided by 2. Okay. Which gives us 2 squared or 4. Okay, so we're going to add 4 to both sides. Okay, so we have y equals, not y equals, excuse me, y plus 10 is equal to x squared plus 4x plus 4. Okay, now I want to, because I'm trying to get this in to um, vertex form, I need to have that x plus something squared, right? So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go uh, factor down my perfect square trinomial. So I've got y plus 10 is equal to x plus 2 squared. Okay, now I need to move my 10 over back onto the, the x side because I want my y by itself. So y is equal to x plus 2 squared plus Oh, not plus, minus. Oops. Let's go back and erase all that real quick. Minus 10. There we go. Y equals X plus 2 squared minus 10. Apologize for that. Okay. Now, we need to find the vertex, the axis of symmetry, the direction that the parabola opens, and the Y-intercept. So... First thing we're going to look at is our vertex. So our vertex, excuse me, I got to sneeze. Hold on. Okay, my vertex. I have my h here, so that's going to be since I have x plus two. Remember x plus two set it equal to 0, and it ends up with x is equal to negative 2. So that's my h, so negative 2. My k is negative 10. So there's my vertex, negative 2, 10. Okay, and my axis of symmetry is the x in my vertex. So my axis of symmetry is x equals negative 2. Okay, now my a Okay, it's positive, positive 1. So my, ver my parabola opens up, right? And then my y-intercept, that is when x is equal to 0. So if I took, let's come over here and do this in pink. If I said y was equal to 0 plus 2, squared minus 10, that would give me 2 squared minus 10, 
or 4 minus 10. So y would be equal to negative 6. So my y-intercept, let's go back over to that purple. My y-intercept is 0, negative 6. Okay? All right, work out the got it. Okay, on this one, we have an equation. x squared, or y equals x squared plus 3x minus 6. Our answer choices are, and we're looking for, says, what is it in vertex form? And then name the vertex, the y-intercept, the axis of symmetry, and the direction of the opening. So answer choice A, y equals x plus 3 halves squared minus 33 fourths with a vertex of negative 3 halves, uh, negative 33 fourths. Axis of symmetry, x equals negative 3 halves. It opens up in a y-intercept of 0, negative 6. Or answer choice B, y equals x plus 3 halves squared minus 33 fourths with a vertex being at 3 halves and 33 fourths. Axis of symmetry at 3 halves. It opens down and a y-intercept of 0 and 33 fourths. Okay, pause this, work it out, and come back for an answer. All right, your answer, I'm not going to work this one out because I don't have the room, but your answer is A. All righty, problem seven. This is going to be our last example problem. Okay, and in this example problem, we're going to take a standard form um, of the quadratic equation. We're going to turn it into vertex form, and then we're going to identify the vertex, the focus, and the directrix. Okay, now let's start by changing this standard form into uh, vertex form. We're going to first subtract the 8 from both sides. We get y minus 8 is equal to x squared minus 4x, okay, and then we need to complete the square, okay, so completing the square means we have to find c, c is b divided by 2 squared, okay, so our b is negative 4, divided by 2 squared. Okay, now that gives me negative 4 divided by 2 is negative 2 squared. Negative 2 squared is equal to 4. Okay. Okay, so we are going to add 4 to both sides of our equation. And we end up with negative 8 plus 4 gives me y minus 4. And that is equal to x squared minus 4x plus 4. And it's messed up on me again, so let's do this. Plus 4. Okay, now let's change the color here. Okay, let's reduce this down and factor out our binomial for our perfect square trinomial. So we have y minus 4 is equal to x squared minus 2, not, not x squared minus 2, x minus 2 squared, there we go, okay, and then we want to move our 4 
over. Okay. So that gives us y is equal to x minus 2 squared plus 4. Okay. Now, let's look here. Let's go with an orange. Now, my vertex. Okay, let's find our vertex. Um, here's my h. So I have x minus 2. That means my h is 2 and my k is 4. So my vertex, if I can, well, there we go. 2, 4 is my vertex. Okay. All right, now let's find our focus. We need to remember that our focus, now, A is equal to 1 over 4C, and C is equal to my focal length, right? Okay, and let's figure out our focal length first, and then we'll talk about our focus. Okay. So, I have 1 over 4C is equal to our A, which is 1. So, when I cross multiply, that gives me 1 is equal to 4C. I divide by 4. So, C is equal to 0.25. <clears throat> okay? And we're going to need that C for both our focus and our directrix. Okay? So let's talk about focus for a minute. Uh, let's go with purple. Okay, focus. Because this is a y equals, that means it's horizontal, I mean it's vertical, not horizontal. Okay, so our change will be seen in our k. So our focus is h and then k plus c. So my h is 2, my k is 4, plus my c is 0.25. So my focus is at 2, 4.2, well, 5. There we go. Okay. And my directrix <coughs> my directrix is going to be y is equal to k minus c. Okay, remember, if we go up for the focus, we go down for the directrix, so we subtract the c. So y is equal to k is 4 minus c is 0 0.25. So, y is equal to 3.75. So, my directrix is at 3.75. Let me erase that and make that a little bit better there. There we go. 3.75, that's my directrix. Alrighty. I'm going to give you one more got it, and then we'll be good for the day. Alrighty, last one. Equation, you're going to find what the vertex focus and directrix are for the parabola with the equation y equals x squared plus 8x plus 18. Your answer choices are below. Okay, a is vertex of negative 4, 2. Focus of negative 4, 2.25, and a directrix of y equals 1.75. B, the vertex of 4, 2, focus of 4 and 2.25, directrix of th uh, y is 1.75. C, vertex at 2, 4, focus at 4, 1.75, and a directrix at y equals 2.25. Or D, vertex at negative 4, 2, Focus at negative 4, 1.75, and directrix at y equals 2.25. Okay, pause this, and then go and see if you can work out this problem. And then come back in a minute and find the um, final answer.
the final answer is A. I'm not going to work this out for you, but um, if you followed everything, you should be okay. Okay? Um, tomorrow, uh, we will go over any questions you have, and we will work on homework in class. Okay? Alrighty. Have a great day. Um, make sure you've taken notes and you write down any questions that you have to ask me um, for, to, uh, for on tomorrow, for on Wednesday. All right, y'all have a great day. Um, the bell should be ringing here pretty shortly if you haven't, um, if you if you were able to get through this this video. Mm. All right, y'all have a great day.